Good morning, children. Today, let's learn science. Yes. So, we shall start with a prayer. Join your hands. Close your eyes. Oh God, bless all of us so that we may learn the subjects better and do our duties well. Good morning, everyone. Yes. So, till the last term and the this term also, we will have covered, we have learned about the different types of living things. Isn't it? Huh? Living things, about the plants you have learned. Hmm? Then, what is the next one we have learned about the, uh, the living thing that can fly. Yes, here again this chapter you are going to learn about uh, again another kind, another creature, another living thing. They also have special feature. These are very tiny creatures, very small living things. Hmm? Small creatures that can creep, that can creep and crawl. Yes, creeping and crawling area. Hmm? Have you seen them? Small, which are the small creatures among the, the birds they have? It, it will be big. Animals are big. Then, it's a small creature. Sometimes, this is uh, night time and all. Ah, some creatures will be coming and uh, sitting on our, uh, you will be going on, hitting on it. Yes, small, small. Ah, uh, they, yes, they are that creatures which can creep and crawl and some of them will fly also. Some of them have, they will fly also. They have six legs. Hmm? Then the other creatures, they have six legs. Okay. So those creatures, hmm, which can creep and crawl, uh, which are smaller than the other ones, they are the insects. So that is what we are going to learn about the next this, uh, living thing that is the insect. About it you are going to learn in this chapter. Okay. So you can see many insects around us. Oh, can you name some of the insects around us? One I have said now, you'll be biting, oh, oh, sorry, beating on it, hitting on it, uh, you'll be scratching after that. Which is that one? Mosquito. Yeah, that is an, ins that is an insect. Yes, like that, uh, if you keep some sugar, uh, open and keep some sugar or honey or sweet things there. So afterwards, you can see that sugar will not be white color. You can see something on the top of it. Who is it? Uh, ant. Uh, ants. Urumba. Like that, many other other insects are there around us. Yes. Then some insects want flowers, very beautiful wings they have. They will fly. They will sit on the flowers, bring the uh, flower shoes. Who is that? Butterfly. Yes, butterfly. Yes. So again, there are many insects around us. Find out the different insects around us. Given in your textbook. Ants are there, butterflies are there, mosquitoes are there. Yes, then cockroach, another one, pata. Like that, there are different insects. Okay, so find out a little more, a little more. Other than this, there are different varieties of insects around us. So find it out. Okay, so that is one. Again, first we will start the class. You can see a picture here, an insect is drawn. This is an insect. Imagine that is an insect. Uh, so, we are going to see the different body parts. Like the birds body parts we have learned, you are going to see the body parts of insect. That's what you are going to see the first part. So, first we are telling the body part of the insect is divided into three. Uh, it is divided into three. That is this part. What is it? That is where you can see the eyes. Can you see the eyes? Yes. Which part will be that? That is a head. Okay. The first, the, the body part of the insect, it is divided into three parts. In that the first one is the, I'm writing here, that is the head. Then, then you can see a part here. Did you see this part? Where you can see the legs of the insects. The legs of the insects are attached to this part. And that part is called the thorax. This part from here to here, you can see thorax. T H O R A X. Thorax. Do you see it? So, first part that is the head. Then you can see the thorax where the legs of the insects are attached. And the bottom part, you can see this one. 
Yes, that part is called the abdomen. This part is called the abdomen. Got it? So, the insects, they are body parts. They are divided into three main parts. First one is the head, thorax and the abdomen. So, then on the head you can see, on the head you can see the eyes. Then you can, we have said that the uh, insects, they sense, they also feel the changes around us. How do they feel? They have, uh, they have to, to combat, what is it? That is the antenna. It is attached to this, attached to the head, uh, which will help them to feel the changes around it. Yes, so that they are the other parts, that is what these two parts, what is it called? Antenna. A N T N N A E antenna, which help them to feel the changes around them. Then, what's the next one? Uh, on the thorax, we have said thorax part, they have legs attached to it. So, the next one you can tell the legs. Uh, mostly the insects have six legs, and there is one insect which have more than the six legs. There is an insect, eight legs, with eight legs. Who is it? Which is that insect which is having eight legs. On one of it same, that name you can see, Ectigali. Isn't it? What the, who is that? Spider. Huh? Otherwise, mostly the ant, these insects have six legs. Okay. So, the next one is the legs. So, three main body parts, head, thorax and abdomen. Again, uh, in that, another body parts are, where in the, on the head you can see the eyes and antennae. Then, uh, legs attached to thorax. Then, some insects, they will have, they will be able to fly. So, they have wings. Not all the insects, some insects are able to fly. So, that also you can include the wings. Wings. Okay. So, these are the different body parts of the insects. Yes, that is what the main body parts of the insects and again we are going to see what is it, where do the animals, where do these insects live. Like birds we have said, the habitat of insects we are going to see. Yes, insects live mostly, uh, mostly in the soil. Most of the insects they will live in the soil and some insects you can find on the trees, all those. On the leaves you can see, but most of them they will live in the soil. And there are some insects which live in groups. Okay. There are some insects, mostly the insects. In some of them, they will live only as a group. And those insects which live as a group, they are called the social insects. Or they will live as a group only. If you see the ant, they, we cannot see ant alone. They will go along as a group. Have you seen it? Uh, that is, they live in groups. They move in groups. That is one. One, in, one type of an example for it. They are called the social insects. Which live in group. They are called social insects. Can you give any other example for it? Can you give any other example for the social insects which live only as a group? Huh? So find out. That is your work for this today. Yes, what is it? One is you have to find out some more uh, insects name. Other than what I have said. And again, what you have to find out. I have said ant, they will live in groups, they move in groups like that and they are called the social insects, isn't it? So find two more social insects, which social insects means, means what? They live in groups, okay? So find two more social insects. It's not a very tough job, it's very easily you can find out, okay? So two more social insects, that is, they who will live in groups, ready? So that is the work for you. And this thing, this diagram, no need of uh, drawing it. Learn to draw it, but you should be able to identify it. Yes. So read the chapter till page number 19. Page number 19. So that is for today. Oh, the next part we will take in the next class. Thank you children. Have a nice day.